Have you heard? Have you heard the latest? Have you heard? When kids start school again in September, social distancing will be scrapped. <laughs> Someone do a quick impression of Boris running away. Backtracking. Hello. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's, it's very, well, if it wasn't about the virus, it'd be very comical. It is very comical. Their behavior is very comical because they've been backtracking for about a month now, rapidly changing everything that they said they were going to do. And then, oh, well, actually, we're going to do this now. Numerous examples. <laughs> um, <clears throat> wow. Yeah, and it's mandatory or mandatory, as the BBC like to say now. It's not mandatory anymore. It's mandatory, because that sounds a bit more threatening. <laughs> it's mandatory for the kids to attend school because they can't afford to miss any more, you know. A whole fucking generation will be ruined if they miss any more school. Now, who was it who said that key workers' children could keep going to school because obviously the key workers had to go to work, but all the other children had to stay off school until it was safe to go out? Now, I can't, you have to fill that one in from the guys in the comments. I can't think. But now, now they're going to be forced to go back to school whether they fucking like it or not. Because apparently, it's all their fucking fault. <laughs> it's all their fucking fault. They've just taken three months off. It's got fuck all to do with the government. Nothing. Boris Johnson wasn't even there. Well, he wasn't even there, was he? For two weeks, whilst they made several important decisions and created many new laws many of which I'm sure we're still to hear about. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, right, I'm going to drop this one in now for time for it to get out, because as we know, MI5 do like to suppress my videos. Um, I've just heard from... <laughs> I've just heard from someone the other day, actually. They found my channel because it was trending somewhere. I thought, well, that's about fucking right, isn't it? Because I didn't even know it was trending. <laughs> um, right, so I'll just drop this one in the now for a couple of days to get out. You know, Saturday night, the big Saturday night when all the pubs and restaurants and everything reopen, right? Um, and you're required to give your details, apparently. Now, this is for a start, totally against fucking GDPR, because you're not giving your details to purchase a product as such. You're not giving your details to enter a contract or anything like that. You're giving your details to enter a bar or a restaurant that you may purchase things thereafter is irrelevant. The point of giving your details is to, to be allowed to enter, right? So that's fucking illegal for a start. Because um, <laughs> it's kind of against your will. Do you know what I mean? But there you go. So, right, when you do this, let me give you a quick lesson on the legal system as it stands today. For those of you who don't know, I'm sure most of my subscribers are well aware of it. Um, for, for, the, for, for, the, for you to consent to be arrested by the police, basically that's why they always try and get your personal details out of you. Oh, what's your name, mate? Oh, yeah. Do you want to come and sit in the back of my car, mate? Yeah, yeah just for a second, yeah. What's your name? Oh, where are you from, mate? Uh, oh, yeah, I know that. But, yeah, whereabouts is that then? What's your address? It's a bit sickening, really. But, um, right, so that's the first step. So you have to give your details to the police to consent to be arrested. Now, this largely applies to civil law. However, I did hear once of someone they wanted for murder, and they actually had to pretend to be two pizza delivery guys to get him to open the door. So I'm not sure how that stands now, because I think that was a while ago. But, yeah, all they can do is basically knock on your door while we're on it. They've, they, as long as they don't have a criminal warrant, they've, they've got no right of forced entry whatsoever. They can stand there and knock all fucking day. As we saw last May the 18th at my house, when they stood there for 27 minutes, five of them working for their private limited company bailiff mate, the investigating officers of the case thereafter lied about everything. But that's all they can do. And they can, please, Paul, please come to the door, Paul. It's a nice police here, Paul. 
We don't really want to arrest you with a six-month out-of-date warrant working for our private limited company bailiff chap. <sighs> anyway, so that's all. They <laughs> that's all they can do is not. Once they've got your details, it's a quick trip down the station. Now they'll play any old fucking trick to get you down the station. Right now, me being completely ignorant to some things some years back willingly got in the back of a, a police van where they lock you up, you know, and all this sort of thing. Um, and I was later told that I should have known I was being arrested because I got in the back of a marked police vehicle. Nothing was actually said. They don't have to say you're under arrest, you see. This is, I'm just giving you examples here, right? They'll somehow trick you into, into coming down the station. Then it's on a recorded interview, you see. Even though it's completely voluntary... Then they might get you to sign a couple of bits of paper so you can go home. I'd be very careful of that one. <laughs> Never fucking sign anything with these duplicitous Nazi fucking pricks, okay? Rule number fucking one, and a mistake I made a few times, I'm willing to admit. Yeah, I'm not here to play the pompous fucking big arse I know at all. I've made more fucking mistakes with these fucking twats and fucking probably most of you ever will. Right. Fine. Done. That's done. I've learned from it. Now I'm trying to pass that knowledge on to you. Okay. So never fucking say anything. But the point being, if we can get back to it, <laughs> they will just make up crimes that you've committed because they get money from the government for keeping people in their cells. The prison get money from the government for keeping people in their cells, right? The courts obviously get money when they issue their fines. By the way, which, if you do pay, again, big fuck up on my account, but I'd actually gone to court at that point and entered on into the whole thing the process, so I was a bit liable. Um, you will then get a receipt saying you have ordered your product. Yes, but if you do ask the court where your product is, for having paid your money, they will then send you a thing saying, uh, this is not an organization which supplies products. Now, I'm not too bothered about that, right? Everyone knows it's bollocks that you've ordered your product, but pay careful attention to the language. This is not an organization which supplies products. The courts refer to themselves as an organization. They are a private fucking company. They are a limited company. Their job, and their job alone, is to make money off of you by conning you into being there in the first place by using their four Reich Nazi fucking police officers to do it, by manufacturing fucking evidence against you to have you arrested and hope that you will comply. I think we've covered everything. Right, have a good time on Saturday night, guys, if you're going out. I'm fucking not.